What's going on YouTube? John here and in this video I'm going to give you my review of the iPad 4. We're going to talk about the specs, the hardware, the software, and everything in between. So let's go ahead and get started. So not much has changed in the iPad 4. It still features the 9.7 inch retina display with a resolution of 2048 by 1536 giving it 264 pixels per inch. They have upgraded the processor inside. It features a dual core A6X processor with quad-core graphics, so you're going to get twice the graphics performance on the iPad 4. They also have a 720p HD video FaceTime camera on the front and a 5 megapixel EyeSight camera on the back. The only physical change you'll see to the iPad 4 is the new lightning connector down below. As far as the rest of the iPad goes, it's all the same. On the right hand side you have your volume rocker with your either rotation lock or mute switch. On the top you have your power button and below that on the back you have your 5 megapixel EyeSight camera. Then up top you also have your headphone jack. As far as the software goes on the iPad 4, it's running the newest version of iOS, iOS 6.0 and there's no problems with it at all. It still runs it smooth as it did before on the iPad 3 and there was no lag issues at all. And as far as the graphics performance, gaming wise, as you can see in the video, I'm playing Real Racing 2 here. There's no issues with gaming. The graphics make it really nice and smooth. And I really couldn't even tell a difference between the graphics on the iPad 4 from the iPad 3. So my final thoughts on the iPad 4 are that it's an incremental upgrade from the iPad 3. If you have the iPad 3, you don't want to run out and go out and buy the iPad 4. I couldn't tell the difference between the processor and the graphics from the iPad 3 to the iPad 4. Yes, Apple says it's going to double your graphics performance, but you really are not going to be able to tell the difference. The Retina display is still the same as it was in the iPad 3. It looks as nice as ever and it's just no reason to upgrade from a 3 to a 4 at this point. Now that saying if you have a iPad 2 or an original iPad this is definitely time to upgrade to the iPad 4. It has the new lightning connector which is going to be the new standard for Apple and that's one of the reasons Apple updated the iPad so quickly is to keep uh, all their products with the same connectors and they also somewhat had to keep up with uh, competitors in the tablet market but as of now I see no reason to upgrade from an iPad 3 to an iPad 4 so but if you're in the market for a tablet the iPad 4 is to me the best one available at this time so if you guys like this video please hit that like button that always helps me out and if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button up top and we'll catch you guys in the next video